new category unlocked. Oh yeah. Aha! You got another ability now. Should be square. Oh. You got a big old shockwave to stun. Takes time. Oh wait, look. If you go onto your menu and you click over one on your tabs up top, it'll take you to your skills. Yeah. Which are the same way. And you can, uh, you see you've got each different selection. Just like your inventory is the same way, you just roll around on which one you want, and then you pick an ability that you want. Now, I can do something that will make things fun for you, but they can also make things a little more confusing for you if you want me to do this. But let me explain. Each one of these is set up in a different categories underneath your skills. You've got primary, secondary, defensive, and then the special ones that are... They're specialized for each different type of character, like I have primary, secondary, defensive, force, conjuration, and mastery. And yours are going to be, you know, call a little bit different stuff, but it's the same thing. They're separated into different sets, basically. And the way that the game usually is set defaulted, you can only pick one out of each section for each one of your spots. Because in the end, you're going to have... Yeah, you'll have an ability on X, one on square, one on triangle, one on circle, and then one on R1 and one on R2. So what is it? One, two, three. So you have six abilities in total that you can use all at the same time. Like it says, usually you can only have one out of each one of those uh, sections, but the more advanced players, once they get to the point where they're comfortable with the system and everything, you can go into options, and uh, you go to gameplay, and up here at the very top, there's a box that says Elective Mode. And what that does is enables you to assign any skill to any button, any slot. So you can actually use more than one ability out of each, uh, each one of your skill, layer, uh, skill slots instead of it being just the ones that are supposed to be assigned to that particular one. You get what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> so you could actually set up all your primary skills if you wanted to do it that way, or you could you know, have more heavy hitting abilities and it's it's more diverse, you can I mean it makes oh, sense you can so play the character a lot I differently. <laughs> but you get what I mean? Like before you selected that, you could only pick one of them out of but you could only pick out of that particular uh, set of abilities. But uh, you click the box and then you can put any of the abilities anywhere on your wheel that you want to. So, and I use the elective one. That way I can change everything up whenever I want to. It makes things a lot easier down the road. Because a lot of uh, higher in gear when you pick it up, it's a lot of stuff. You get set bonuses that will specialize on certain abilities and stuff like that. And you'll have to kind of change up your playstyle a little bit. Oh, how you use your attacks yeah, and everything. And it, it helps to be able to swap things in and out. It's, you know, more versatility is all it is really. It's quite nice. Quite nice, I must say. Quite nice. 